In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can make $200 per day in profit or $73,000 per year using Amazon Wholesale as a business model. What's up guys, my name is Mike Sieben. I am a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller and that's right, in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down the math that goes into actually making $200 per day on Amazon in straight profit. I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of different items that we actually have available to us from our suppliers and what those real world numbers look like and how much money you actually need to be spending on a daily and monthly basis in order to actually achieve that $200 per day goal. So let's get right into it. All right guys, if you are new around here, please make sure that you're smashing that like button. If you get any value from this video at all, please consider doing so. It's completely free and it helps out the channel more than you can know. As well, just make sure that you're subscribed and hitting that notification bell if you haven't already so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video. $200 per day on Amazon. I'm gonna show you guys how that is possible through the Amazon wholesale method. So let's hop over to my screen here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at a couple of different things. So I have a couple different uh, formulas just quickly built out here I just spent a couple of minutes so as you can see making $200 a day with Amazon wholesale so a couple different things we have our daily profit our goal is $200 per day that's a yearly profit of $73,000 now tell me who out there would not like to make an extra $73,000 per year with this business model. It's completely doable, guys, and I'm gonna show you exactly how. As well, we just have a return on investment section here, and so this is the number we're gonna be filling in to figure out how much we actually need to be spending on a daily basis. And so this number is gonna seem pretty high initially, but it's completely doable, completely achievable. It doesn't take very long at all. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like, right? And so we're just gonna drag this down. As well, we also pulled a couple of items. So these items are actually available to us today from one of our suppliers. And we actually have the costs and everything associated. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna take a look at what the prices of these items are right now, what they're selling for, and then we're gonna actually put those numbers in to our return on investment columns. And we're gonna actually see how much money we can make with these items and if it is achievable and what the daily spend looks like and all of that, right? So first item we have, here's just the UPC or universal product code. Here's the description so we know it's the right item. And then we've actually pulled the ASIN or the, the Amazon specific uh, listing number and then we also have the link just to make things easy So we're gonna hop over and take a look at this item So let's remember that we are gonna have to spend seven dollars and eight cents on this item Let's go ahead and click over to Amazon and check it all out So as we can see this item is selling for $16.99 and I'm gonna use my handy uh, Rev seller extension and so this is an awesome Google Chrome extension, it gives us a ton of information about the listing and this item, it gives you the ASIN real quick, it gives you the weight, the size, the UPC, all that kind of stuff, as well as there's a handy little profit calculator, right? So that's what we're gonna be using today is this profit calculator. So if we remember back, this item was $7.08 for us to purchase. On average, we need to add a little bit more for things just like shipping, prepping, that kind of stuff, right? So let's figure out what we could actually make as an ROI on this product, right? So I'm just gonna pull up a quick little calculator here and we're gonna take our $7.08 and we usually have to pay about 70 cents per item to prep it, to label it, and to ship it. These are all just standard costs of doing business. So we're gonna add that 70 cents per unit. So we get $7.78. This is gonna cost us at the end of the day. So we're just gonna type that right into RevSeller. And so as we can see, if we spend $7.78 on this, we are gonna net or profit $2.87. 
That's a 37% ROI and a 17% margin. So we're gonna take that 37% ROI and we're gonna figure out how we can make $2 per day selling this item with an ROI of 37%, right? So what we would come in here and do is we do 0.37, put that in there. And so if we wanted to make $200 profit and we were getting a return on that investment of 37%, we would need to spend $541 every single day in order to get that. So if we were to spend a little over 500 bucks, we could actually profit $73,000 in our pocket at the end of the year if we had a return on investment of 37%. So just to give you guys a good idea, when you're first getting started, your ROI will probably be a little bit higher. It's gonna come down over time as you start to grow and scale, that ROI will become a little bit less and less. Our business does about 40 to 45% ROI on all the products we buy, which is actually a really good, really high ROI. It's actually gonna go down over time as you do more volume and you add more products you're gonna have to sell some products with some lower ROIs. So this ROI is actually really realistic for what a larger seller would be doing. So this isn't too bad at all, right? So just to back this up, let's go ahead and take another look at another real world item, right? So this product is being sold for $8.08. Let's just go ahead and click through and check this one out. So it's an extra virgin olive oil. Again, we have to account for that 70 cents so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that eight dollars and eight cents we're gonna add our 70 cents for prepping and shipping so we get eight dollars and 78 cents so let's put that in eight dollars and 78 cents and so this one has an even better roi of 58 percent 21 percent margin so we're gonna take that 58 percent and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what that looks like if we're gonna go ahead and put that in, right? So 0.58 for 58%. So in order to make $200 per day with a 58% ROI, we would only need to spend $345 per day. And again, we're getting that yearly profit of 73,000. So obviously this ROI is a lot better. It's quite an, a large ROI. Like I said, we're 40 to 45%. So we're right in the middle of that. When you're first getting, getting started, ROIs like this are not crazy or not unheard of. And they will come down over time. When we first started, we were probably you know, 60 or 70% on every ROI on everything we bought. That's just gonna come down over time, just as you do more volume, right? So let's take a look at a couple other examples just to give you an idea of what you would actually need and be looking at, you know, as you grow and scale, right? So let's do, you know, 30% and then let's do if you were kind of a beginner and you're able to source some high, higher ROI items and you're not selling a whole lot, if we bump that up and did like 70%, let's take a look at what those numbers look, at, look like, right? So obviously as you grow and scale, as your business gets bigger, you're gonna have more money in it. And so a daily spend of 667 to get back $200 in profit actually isn't too bad at all. That's pretty realistic for what very, very large sellers are probably doing. Again, when you're first getting started, if you have a return on investment of 70%, if you're spending $286, which is very low daily spend, you're making a daily profit of $200, right? So you only need to spend under $300 a day to actually make $73,000 in profit on a yearly basis, right? So I hope that painted a really good picture for you guys in terms of what you should be looking at for capital when you're first getting started. Obviously, when you're launching this business up, most of us aren't in a position to be spending you know, three to $500 per day every single day. But also we can expect to make a lot less than $200 a day when we're first getting started. Remember guys, this is a long-term business. This is a long-term strategy. So if you're able to start with just a couple thousand dollars on a monthly basis, you're able to grow that and scale that. You'll first start by making, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month, then it's a couple thousand dollars a month. And then eventually you can work your way up to making that 
$200 every single day just by selling these everyday products that we were taking a look at, right? And to give you an idea, we're aiming for about three to $400,000 this year in just straight profit. And we followed this business model and we've seen these types of profits with these types of ROI. So it's completely doable. I'm not anyone special. I'm not anyone different. I'm just an average person and a little bit of hard work, dedication and reinvesting those profits has been able to achieve me this type of freedom, this type of financial success. And it's taken a little bit over three years at this point. All right, guys, that is all I have in this video. Again, if you guys have seen any sort of value out of this, please make sure you're smashing that like button as well. Let me know down in the comment section if you have started your Amazon business yet, or maybe this video has convinced you to start that Amazon business. If so, let me know down in the comment section. If you guys are looking for some more information on how you can get started to work your way towards making $200 per day every single day, there is a free guide down in the description that will give you the first steps that you need in order to get yourself started. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and we will see you on the next one.